Hello, this is a quick video response to Tesla 5000's video of how a true sine wave UPS works. I just thought since I have one, I will show the waveforms from an older uh, square wave UPS. UPS is one of these little uh, APC, let's see, it's a backups, XS 1500, 1500 VA. Really cheaply made, kind of plastic. Not a very well made unit, although it does have external battery connections. A lot of them don't. I have a uh, 12 volt AC transformer connected to a scope probe connected to my scope. The scope is not n nowhere near as good as Tesla 5000's. Let's see if I can get it to show up on the camera. Here we go. This is from the line. Let's kick up the... There we go. Should have done this at night, but... This is a uh, sine wave directly from the line. If I can get it to, to show here. Not a real great sine wave, kind of chopped off on the top, chopped off on the bottom. A lot of switching power supplies will do this and inject a lot of noise into the sine wave. I also have PLC power line controls on this line and uh, sometimes the noise uh, and data from them will cause some noise on the sine wave. Yep, old scope. So now let's pull the power and uh, we'll switch it over to UPS. Running on battery. Let's see if I can get the alarm to silence. That should do it. Now that's just awful. The book calls this a stepped sine wave. That doesn't look good. That does not look like a sine wave to me. That is a square wave that isn't even square. Just remember, if you have a UPS like this, Compute, most computer power supplies and things, switching power supplies don't really care what the waveform looks like. Uh, I wouldn't really want to run motors or anything like that on this. Shut up. Whoops. Well, that's off. <laughs> and on. There we go. But, uh, Switching power supplies and things like that just don't really seem to care. But uh, that's what a uh, square wave from one of these cheap UPSs looks like on a uh, scope. Thank you for watching.